All right. Well, we've wrapped up our fifth season with our CHB 34 trawler. And while I have no plans to replace it in the next couple of years, the big restraint right now is not the boat or its capability. It's our lack of time due to school and careers and finances to be able to travel longer distances over greater time. So We've uh, spent most of our time bouncing between our home port in Long Beach, California and Catalina Island. And then a longer term cruising dream of mine is to uh, spend a season or several in the Sea of Cortez. People have done so in our boat with a single engine successfully. I know there are several down there along the docks in uh, La Paz specifically. If I had a year or more we could make the long slow journey up the Pacific coast all the way to British Columbia harbor hopping. We could make it as far as uh, Glacier Bay in southeast Alaska. Now, the reality is I'm a decade or more away from being able to do some extended cruising. When it happens, I think our home port's going to be in southeast Texas. And if we're starting there, I think the next long distance destination would be a season in the Bahamas. And from there, maybe make the journey south and play in the Caribbean and get south for hurricane season and wait it out in the heat down there. Let's work our way up the U.S. East Coast Intercoastal Waterway. I've visited most of the major cities along the route over the years working, but uh, it be a whole other experience to do it on the water without a schedule. And then spend a very short season or two in my home state of Maine, where I started boating as a kid. And then if you're in Maine, experience the huge tidal swings up in the Bay of Fundy, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia. Maybe get as far north as Newfoundland in the right boat. And at that point, I figure if we're still up for it and we've got the experience and the right equipment, start planning an Atlantic crossing. So here are three yeah, offshore capable power boats, I think. As someone who hasn't spent any time offshore, that aren't your typical production boats. I'll start with the highest price point and work down. I'll include links to each of these listings in the description of the video. This first boat's a George Bueller diesel duck, backyard build, owner builder. And uh, if you don't already know, like these diesel ducks are based on uh, the salmon trawlers from the northwest coast of North America. Smaller boats, the fishing versions were operated by a crew of one or two, narrow beam, very fuel efficient. These Bueller backyard build, typically a wooden hull. My understanding is these boats are primarily built of wood. The hull is planked, then sheathed in plywood, and the final exterior surface is a fiberglass barrier. 46 feet long, 14 foot beam, 85 horsepower diesel, and approximately 1,000 gallons of fuel. I would imagine she cruises at about a gallon and a half to two gallons an hour. I love the, the large pilot house and the aft cabin, uh, paravanes, and a mast with a crow's nest for, I guess, cruising in shallow waters and out in the Bahamas looking for coral heads. It's interesting that the hydraulic rams for the rudder are on the exterior. I like the low maintenance materials on the exterior, just galvanized handrails and uh, mostly white top sides. Looks very much like a work boat. A pilot house, uh, no wheel, just a hydraulics package and then a follow up lever. Large bench seat that converts to a double berth. And in the upright position, there's uh, like a watch berth behind the bench. And one of the things I really love about wooden yachts is on the interior, you tend to not see a whole lot of laminated plywood. It's like when the whole boat is wood, it seems like the designers and builders aren't trying to show off every piece of wood grain on the interior. Uh, nothing wrong with using a bunch of white paint. It also it just helps with the visibility and bouncing light around inside the cabins. This is the aft head and the aft uh, cabin. Love the beams overhead and the joinery on the lockers. 
the forward head. All right, I'm going to wrap this video up right here. I'm fighting a cold. I've been on the road flying around the country all week. I've got two more boats I want to talk about, but uh, we'll save that for a future video.